Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel on this rather hot and sticky night here in Blighty. Yeah, temperature's really gone up tonight. Um, so yeah, what are we here for? Well you might have guessed by the title guys that this is another Nintendo Switch eShop sale bargain pickup. And oh my god is it a pickup? of the freaking century this is an awesome saving guys wow but first i want to show you something else um me and the missus we went off to asda's today to do a bit of shopping and while we were there she did a little early birthday present pickup guys we're not talking a lot of money we're talking um one item but four of them if you like uh, one product but four of them um and what it is guys they're pisses and here we go, we shall start with Luigi. There we go, there's Luigi there. These are awesome guys, they're £1.50 each. They're absolutely wicked, I mean look at that face, look, look, oh, look at that face. Yeah, they're pretty well done guys to be a fair. I mean they're pezzies, come on, they're not going to be the, the most top quality, but they're pretty cool. Of course they'll never be opened. I have pezzes already still sealed that are about five years out of date with these. Um, so they're never going to be eaten. They're just going to sit in there and fester. Um, yeah, I shall never open them, guys. I mean, I've seen videos of people who've got pezzes from the 1950s and uh, they've never been opened. And the, uh, they're still sitting in there like that, the sweets, guys. So, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Luigi. Then we have... The man himself, Mario. There's uh, four different ones to collect, and I've got all four of them. So that is wicked that for once I've got them all. There he is. There's his little bloody face. Look there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, really, really cool. For £1.50 each. They're wicked. Then we have Toad. Funny enough, there's no Princess Peach. I couldn't get over that. Or Bowser. There's only the four of them, as you can tell by the by the box itself. Only four of them. But hopefully they'll bring out some more and there'll be uh, Peach and Bowser and what have you. Yeah, look at him, the little sod. There he is, look, hopefully you can see him properly. There we are. So yeah, these are wicked guys. As I say, £1.50, you can't go wrong. And Yoshi. Or Yoshi, as some people like to call him. Yoshi, Yoshi, whatever way you want to call him. There he is, a little sod. Yeah, wicked. Absolutely wicked pezzes. And as I say, they will never be opened. I shall never taste those sweets, guys. Oh well, never mind, eh? I'm sure I can live with that. Yeah, brilliant. So that was the little pickups my missus got me. as not a bit of an early birthday present? I said to her, is that all you're going to get me from my birthday? She went, don't be so freaking silly. That'll just, you know be one of the things that you've got very early so anyway there you go guys that's that one i mean it's not that early my birthday's on the 26th so yeah coming you know coming along you know oh, but brilliant love 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 getting a whole collection like that guys in one hit brilliant but yeah the main reason we're here guys is for this fantastic nintendo switch eShop sale bargain now I love racing games and I absolutely adore every type of racing game, whether it's with cars, boats, jet skis, whatever, guys. But one of the others I absolutely adore is motorbike games, guys. Anything to do with motorbikes, you know, whether it's the big power bikes like you're going to see in this or not, I love motorbike games. Um, obviously, you know, I absolutely adore kart games as well, like Mario Kart and all that. But this one, guys, is an absolute doozy because at the moment, this fantastic game, which is Moto GP 20. So, yeah, it's from last year, guys, but it's not that old. It was $29.99 originally. So, just a penny short of 30 quid, guys. At the moment, 
it's seven pounds 49 pence and i had a little bit of uh, money off it again and i actually just paid uh i do believe the seven pound for it so but what a fantastic price guys at seven pound 49 what a massive saving on the 29.99 guys wow oh. so you can't go wrong there on price now will it be brilliant well i'll give you a heads up guys i've had a little play on it already the controls are quite difficult to master but once you start to master them and it's the first time i played it guys when i when i played it earlier um so this will only be my second run i start to get a little bit better as we go along and i think in the end this is going to be fantastic the graphics are brilliant considering it's the nintendo switch um yeah i, I can't fault it guys i think it's an awesome bloody game but will you think that and will you pick it up for this bargain price at the moment? I mean, wow, what a saving. So, yeah, will you join me and Josh as it happens? Because I know Josh is down in the living room tonight because he's working on all sorts of things on his uh, computer. And I said to him, it would be nice to see you once in a while. So he's, he's come down and he's joined me. Um, so, yeah, he's going to jump on as well. So brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Right. So, would you like to join me as we take a look at an absolute bargain from the Nintendo eShop sale with Moto GP20. Back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys, with this fantastic flipping uh, bargain on the eShop, guys. 30 quid normally, 7.49 at the moment. That is just incredible. Very long loading times, I warn you now. We'll probably sit it out. You know, you might as well suffer along with me. Josh is here with me as well. Hello, Josh. Hello. So we may get him jumping on once I've had a turn and see how he handles it. Tell you what, the, the controls are very finicky at first, but. It looks fantastic, it really does. Right, here we go, press any button. Right, so here you go, here's your different modes here. You've got quick modes, you've got new career, local multiplayer, customization, historic mode, and options. Right, so we'll start with quick modes. We've got Lord Grand Prix, Grand Prix, I was going to say again, Josh, <laughs> Grand Prix, time trial, new championship, so we'll go for Lord Grand Prix. And you get to choose your bits and bobs here, race, warm up, all that kind of stuff. Let's have a look, uh, what shall we go for here? Yeah, let's just go, go for a nice sunny day. Oh, okay then. Huh. Let's turn that one off. There we go. And here we go. Maybe it won't take so long to load this time. Eh? You know, you're having to suffer it with me. No, it's going to take just as long, guys. As you can see, there, look, sixteen percent at the moment. I think me and Josh timed it, didn't we? It was about a minute, wasn't it? Something like that. Something like that, yeah. So we might as well let you experience it in real time. But just remember, guys, you're getting a stellar bloody game for this. You know, it might be long loading times and all that, but it looks fantastic. It's normally 30 quid, and you're paying less than eight for it in the, in the sale at the moment. Flipping on words again, I nearly said swale. <laughs> Here we go guys, it's speeding up a bit now. Right, let's go for it then. Another loading screen. This one not quite as long though. 
I do apologise about any noises in the background. We've got some idiots outside who seem to think it's very funny to go racing up and down our stream. Right, here we go. Right, here we go, we're starting. Autopilot at the moment. Then we take over as soon as that gauge is gone. There we go, and we're taking over now. I say, I've still not got quite used to the controls yet, guys. <laughs> as you can see. Way. And I'll tell you what, it's dramatic when you come off the bike. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> At least you're experiencing it all. Ah. Right, back in. There we go. Control are going crazy, you guys. Doesn't it look fantastic? Well, it really does. Hey, come on, you bugger. Don't hit that bloody fence again. Come on. Again, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're not getting much joy out of me here, are you? At least you're getting to see what it looks like. The usual crap playing by me, you wouldn't expect anything less. little funny thing here now. <laughs> oh dear. Must be some kind of shortcut over something like that. Can we come to like a pit stop or something? I don't know what the hell's going on here guys. Oh dear. Nope, not sure what happened there. Well, that I'm crap. That's what I'm trying to find out. Huh. Oh, that's hilarious. Right. Go on then, let's get going again. Just going to be crap that last time. And go with the autopilot again. Like I said guys, wait for that gauge to go, and there we are, we're, we've taken over. Does look pretty stunning. Oh, 
Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, see that bike. Wait for it to come down. Where's it coming? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the bike to actually come down on top of me. I'm gonna hit the wall again. Yay! Obviously, if you pick it up, guys, I'm sure you're gonna play it a lot better than I am. Right, Josh, I think you might want to take over in a minute and have a go as well, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So, shall we get Josh on? Let's just leave it there. Right? Let's swap over. Josh, you grab it. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Let's see if Josh can handle it better than me. It's all of them. Which one? That one. Yeah. It's like a rewind thing. Oh, right. It's the big one, eh? Oh, big one. Yeah. There we go. All right. I don't know, Josh has got the controls down now. <laughs> mm. I know you hit that gravel. You just got to make sure you're not leaning too much. Mm. It's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But once you get these controls down, it's going to be awesome. Mm. When you think, you know, it's, it's only 749, you know, it's so cheap. Yeah. And it is, yeah, it's from last year, guys, obviously from 2020, but... Thinking, heck, you know, 30 quid normally, so... Mm -hmm. You can't really... Can't really say much else, it's, it's quite a fantastic price. Yeah, it's good. Oh, oh, from Francisco crash. Not playing a bit of a man, I think. Maybe oh, a little bit. Yeah. Tiny bit. <laughs> Mark crash. Yeah. Got a place in my 16th rank. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think either of us are going to win really, are we? <laughs> no. Not why you're trying to get these controls down. You can actually knock them off their bikes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's wicked. <laughs> I want to try and knock this guy. Yeah. Oh, Danny Lucas. You managed to catch him. <laughs> yeah, he's zooming. Can't Come here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, because you lean too far over. Oh. So you hit the road. On the side of the bike. Yeah. I did it again. Yep. The, the knack is to go down and back up again quick. Mm. When you're doing the corners. I mean, it auto takes over when you do the corners, so you can concentrate on just leaning really. Uh, yeah. Come here. Petrusi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nearly, nearly had him. Oh, we're going to the. Oh, oh, oh. It's always dramatic when you really crash and you can <laughs> see the bike flying in the air. Yeah. It really does look like it's going to come down on you. Mm. And the other race is oh, just man. about avoid hitting you. Yeah. <laughs> what? You went right through me. Come back here. You can actually turn it into a bit of fun of just chasing down the other bikes. Yeah. <laughs> The game making me go the wrong way. Yeah, it's where that way is shorter. Yeah. Yeah. I think the graphics are pretty damn good, really. Yeah, for the Switch, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it, yeah. Yeah, what do you think of it then, Josh? It's good. The controls are harder than, like, you know, you might think, but it is yeah. a good game. <laughs> you nearly knocked me off. Yeah, you nearly knocked you off. Yeah. That's the only trouble they can get to you as well. Yeah, well. Come here, the mallets. Ah. Whoa, you went through the sign and you didn't crash. Wow. <laughs> Every time I hit it, I crashed. Oh. There he is. 
to knock people off. Yeah. Yeah, I managed to do it a couple of times, but uh, that was a couple of just like hunting them down there. Yeah. There seems to be a lot of laps as well. Yeah. Yeah, more than Jesus just standing through it, isn't it? Yeah, it's still on me, yeah. <laughs> it's just a bit dramatic. <laughs> but that's the thing, it's, it's a sim, isn't it? It's, uh, mm -hmm. It's not just a you know a bike racing game, it's an actual proper proper mechanics there and everything like that, so anyway. Yeah. So yes guys, I think it gets a big thumbs up from both of us. Mm -hmm. I mean Josh was trying to see what some of the other controls were doing just then. Yeah. Yeah, it's what I did earlier and it made some kind of uh, noise, but I'm not sure what, what it actually did. Like that. Mm. I want to knock this guy off. Yeah. Wait for him to come. Yeah. But he's gone into the end. Oh, he's gone into the pit stop. Yeah. Idiot. I knew you were going to get him, you got scared. Mm. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. I'm going to come down. I'll go through this side. Yeah, <laughs> you managed. <laughs> How funny is that, that I was crashing into him? Mm. Is that the guy that I was after? Yeah, I think He's got in front of me. Yeah, it looks like a cup, eh? Oh my god, did you see that? Yeah, you just annoyed him, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. But again, you hit them and you go flying. Go on, get him. Oh, no! Really? <laughs> I give up. Yep. Well, there you go, guys. I think we'll end on that. And, uh, yeah, like I said, big thumbs up from both of us. This is an absolute and utter steal. A seven pound forty nine, normally twenty nine ninety nine, so a penny short of thirty quid, guys. Yep, there we go. As Josh shoots off, we shall end. Back with my final thoughts. Wow, well, isn't that brilliant? Yeah, Josh ended up playing a little bit better than me. I think we were pretty close. I mean, normally he whips my freaking ass on everything. But I think we were pretty close. Yeah, like I said, guys, the controls do take a lot of, uh, you know, getting used to. But once you do, I mean, it is just stellar. It is so much fun playing it. Of course, it is a simulation, isn't it? It's not, yeah, you know, you're not going to be playing one of these basic motorbike games where you just kind of get on with it. no it's very very realistic you go too far over to the left or the right you are going to clip your bike on the ground you're going to come off you're going to tumble um yeah in that sense it's very realistic um i think it looks stunning considering it's on the nintendo switch i think it's a little beauty um josh agrees as well we both gave it thumbs ups uh, so yeah we think this is an absolute stunker so if you like racing games and you like motorbike racing games i think you're going to adore this and at that price guys you cannot sniff at it can you normally 29.99 like i said at the moment seven pounds 49 i'm not sure what it is in uh north america at the moment of course i have a lot of subs in north america i'm not sure if it's in the sale over in north america and i'm not sure what the price would be there either obviously i can't check that but if you're in North America, guys, head over there and have a look. And fingers crossed, you'll actually have a bit of luck and be able to pick it up. Because I tell you what, you'll have a bloody blast with it. It is fantastic. So, yeah, another bloody blinding deal from the Nintendo eShop sale. <sighs> right. And with that, guys, after, uh, you know, showing you my Pezzes and showing you my eShop pickup, I'm going to bring it to an end. I'm going to say the usuals, guys. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a bummy thumbs up. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications. And do you like emulation, guys? Um, because I think if you want to play the classics these days, it's a brilliant way to do it. If you want to check out a game before you pay the extortionate price maybe for it, 
for the physical real thing. Brilliant way to check it out using a ROM. Emulation is uh, the way these days, guys. It really is in so many different ways. Um, as much as I love the physical, I do love emulation so much that me and my best friend Nate, who's the same as me, he has all the originals as well, but he likes to uh, emulate. Um, we set up a Facebook group. It is the Retro Emulation Fan Group, guys, over on Facebook. So if you love emulation as well, there's a ton of content there for you. There is reviews of all the different systems, whether it's handheld or home system based, like your pies and what have you. There is tons of videos with tech help and another ton of videos for the uh, custom firmwares, the OSs that you can drop onto these uh, handhelds, guys, like your Ambenix and what have you. Um, so, yeah, brilliant place to go to watch lots of videos. And, of course, it's an ever-growing community. Oh, they're just an absolute stellar bunch of members. And the admin team is fantastic as well. So, yeah, if you love emulation, do yourself a favour. Head over to Facebook, look up the Retro Emulation Fan Group, and join us, guys. And then I also have my UK Crown Gaming Facebook page as well. Oh, group. If you'd like to, you know, head over there because it's everything gaming is covered, guys. Retro to modern, Pong machines to PS5s. So if you just love gaming in general, you will find yourself right at home there, guys. Again, tons of videos there, guys, for you to watch because lots of other YouTubers put up their videos there as well, which is brilliant because it gives you so much to watch. And again... Fantastic community of people getting bigger by the minute who all love gaming. So you can have a banter with the other members and the fantastic admin team again. So, yeah, if you just love flipping gaming, guys, head over to Facebook, look up UK Crowd Gaming, all lowercase, ask to join, and I will accept you in no time. And then, guys, finally, I have a Patreon. It is linked below. If you'd like to head over to Patreon and watch my video on why I set it up in the first place and see if you want to join me on my Patreon journey. And with that, I'm going to love you and leave you and I'm going to say auf Wiedersehen, tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.